All right. Um, Bevan Bird, the Soul to Soul Connector, with Matthew Sikich of the Five Buying Habits dot com <coughs> and Mastery of Loving dot com. Welcome, Matthew. Well, great. It's great to be with you again, Bevan, as always. And that I think we were chatting and decided to make this available to others. Uh, it's kind of an insight that I had that when they're trying to make a connection to somebody, ultimately those of us that are kind of in the work that we all know and love to bring heaven on earth here for everybody is, is that um, we want to touch people at the soul level. You know, we want to connect with them. And it's been my experience, you know, since you and I've been together is that the quickest way for me, if you just look at a business level, besides the personal level, which has come very, you know, instantly as like, if, if you bring a friend to the party, you know, they go, oh, he's a uh, you know, they're, they're a friend of Bevan, like, they're like, oh, you know, like they've been friends for years, that type of thing, you know? Mm. And, and so they have kind of like this Bevan task. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, you know me because my heart's like Bevan. Uh, and, and, and so what's really great is business-wise, you can bypass all of the small talk, all of the, um, I, I guess, the formalities, if you will, um, to really get to somebody's essence of who they are, why, what is their gift, you know, whether it's God or whatever name they have for creator or, or not at all, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, but if they recognize there's a gift in themselves and they really want to give that, that going through you, like being the hub, is like the perfect way to get there easier, faster, and more elegantly than any other way. And it's been my experience with the, just the people that you've been introducing to me is that, you know, we get started right at the soul level. Like, you know, like we're brothers and sisters working on this project together. Mm -hmm. And I just have my gifts and they have their talent or their product, you know, and it's like, okay, we're here. Let's, let's, let's go, you know? And that's awesome. Um, um, and that's and why you called me the soul to soul connector. Cause I wanted yeah. to, I wanted to um, recognize you at the beginning, but uh, you know, we, we didn't get that, but yeah, you, you gave me that name earlier this summer. Yeah. It, it you know, when we kind of define ourselves and, and what's the best, way that when people hear about us um, and the soul to soul connector just fit you. I mean, everybody around that I know that knows you go, yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, he's a soul to soul connector, you know, it well, just so happens. It's working very well. Yeah. And, and, and the people that are coming now, it's, it's getting even more aligned. I'm very excited with who I'm collaborating now with. And, and isn't it like, you know, it, you have all these network marketers that like I say, you know, kind of, and it was the only, it was like being in the stone age, you know, oh, this is how you connect to somebody. This is how you, you go and you make that connection. Well, the, the real duplication in network marketing is actually the soul to soul connection. Huh. The, the ones who build teams are really in unison with each other. Oh, yeah. At a much higher vibration level than, you know, just, oh, it's a product and service and, Right. Yeah. Well, it's based on a why. It's on a purpose or a mission. Like right. It's deep, heartfelt mission. Right. And so. Um, and there's also know, values too. I learned this from Simon Sinek. And so, in start with why, it's that's what it's all about. It's so it's such an important book. And yeah, that and that's what makes it powerful. And you can have loyalty rather than stress and people leaving and and right. breakups of the business. Think just things going totally wrong. The wrong partners causes people all kinds of problems in their, their entrepreneurial career, right? Myself, yeah. others I've seen as well. I saw it in The Millionaire Within, the book by E. Brian Rose. Right? Yeah. So it's really important to know who you are, your gifts, your passions, talents, right. right? Values. And then you can align with others and have the same like mission and the same value. Right. Then you can trust each other, as Simon Sinek says. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, totally. When I was in sports, um, 
we never uh, at the collegiate level we never cut any player okay we had such a positive environment that the negative people couldn't stand it and they just left when I was sales manager I had the same thing I never fired anybody the the ones that were non-performers they left they just couldn't stand the environment the uh, the harmony that we had all working together for the same purpose, like you mentioned. Ah, that's a mastermind. The group of people with the same purpose working together in perfect harmony. It, it breaks the, the mastermind when you don't have perfect harmony and they have to be removed. Right. They remove themselves because it was too uncomfortable to be there. Yeah, it's kind of like people that gossip, you know, like when there's nobody to gossip, you know, they go, I got to go get somebody to gossip. You know, like, yeah. But when you're above that, you go like, hey, we're just here to serve and love one another and have fun together and play together. You know, yeah. we just want to create a big sandbox with a lot more toys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I take three back in history, but <laughs> just a bigger sandbox, you know. That was like yesterday <laughs> on the Soul to Soul Mastermind um, oh. when I made that joke. And then, and then you and I were kind of laughing a bit. And then I said sorry to her. <laughs> Uh, yesterday's was just a, a clear example. I mean, the, if, if somebody tracked the the harmony, you know, and like, oh, this person played into here, and then this person went to here, and this person, and then all of a sudden, like, oh, with people person, helping and, each other. Yeah, oh, it's it's like, amazing. This one helps this one, and then I kind of like called on that next one, the one that had helped them quite significantly in that right. section, like in like the hot seat. Then I call on that one next, right, and then it went around and around. Yeah. And thank you for being so helpful. Huge reason. Well, it, was, it was just a, a true mastermind, the way that they can be run and, and then what happens in it when, you know, and you have that ability because when people meet you, um, they're, I call it invited. Okay. Somebody else might be say the word forced. Okay. <laughs> it's a perspective. Okay. But, but they're invited to be their true self. Yes. And if they're not their true self, it's like, oh, maybe I don't belong here. You know, like maybe I need to hide out with some other group. Mm -hmm. And and so um, I can tell you my experience in, 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 you know, the people that I've been sharing my gifts with as a trainer in that, um, they have accelerated because the people receiving that um, – I think the blocks that somebody, you know, you go to a seminar, you, you don't know who the guru is, you know, always. And, you know, is there something behind going on? And, and that um, going through you clears that, mm -hmm. you know. So if you make a recommendation that it would be great for me to talk to somebody, I already have like, okay, that, that person is part of this bigger family. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, heavens, heavens connections .com. It's, you know, so um, it truly is, a, you know, faster, easier, and more elegant way to um, form the relationships you really want to form and to enjoy them. Wow. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm, I'm really excited about more people. So at like the beginning of the year, I'm going to start taking my Facebook group that normally I don't, you know, I, um, Facebook, I, I just kind of am out there like, oh, I have this idea. So if you, there's no continuity in my Facebook, you know, like, okay, here's a, here's a picture of me and my family. And then here's one on, you know, um, the vaccine situation and here's one on the Illuminati and like okay and then you know here here it goes from political to religious and then here's you know the latest talent you know I just showcased somebody from the Ukraine on, on one of their talents that was two dancers were just superb so I thought oh you know that's something everybody's got to see you know like 
being able to stop and smell the roses and see the beauty in our world and everything else. Oh, yeah. 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 And then, I, you know, because you've said some great things about me, I should say some about you that I know from knowing you for this last while. You, you're okay. doing what you love, Mastermind, in December, I believe, uh, 2016. So it's, it's over a year. Wow. And it, like, it's very fun talking with you and working with you. You bring such like really fun, playful energy. And so like people can totally transform their marketing and make it so much more effective working with you. And it's a lot of fun. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's what I wanted to be. And I'm glad you've had that experience, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see come the, the first of the year um, because there's, there's some great people internationally. Okay. There's one gal like, you know, was gifted the name worldwide dream builders from one of my companies years ago. And now it's kind of transforming itself and it may become my holding company, you know, and it may embrace, you know, this whole um, kind of connectingness that, that is going on this. And, and so if I was like, you know, community is really important. This morning, I just listened to a recording of Sean Mice's faith-based call from yesterday. See, mm -hmm. Sean Mice is the author of Anyone Can Coach, has a simple group coaching model, which he created, and many gurus use it. And, uh, and, and so he teaches online marketing, right? And he was impressed a few years ago or some, at some point to do this other call too, to apply the word of God, the Bible, right? to the business because there's so much in there to apply to it. But he's like, well, when people go to church or synagogue or whatever they go to yeah. is they don't talk about that because most people aren't entrepreneurs. They talk about things that aren't going to be relevant to us. It's just in life, but not in business, but there's so much in there. And so that's what he does every week. Right. And he's, I think right. he's not for free that, that one. Um, and, and so, and that's a great service, but then there's also community there. And so there's this mastermind effect in it where he said, and he, he said that about the one yesterday, right? I just listened this morning. So it was that community thing where someone expressed the challenge, like the, the, the father with his kids uh, growing up, losing control of them. And when when should he like give them more control or what, you know, at this, this age and the challenges with that. And then uh, a, a woman, so she's a mother that has gone beyond that. Like she's, it's happened already, she's farther along. So she's able to share some wisdom with him, right? And that's what, uh, Sean has been talking about right where like in a recent one because I may have listened to the one from last week or something maybe right number fifth or something where he was saying like you have experience from what you've done right you can teach from that experience and we can tell people but not in an ego way like oh I know more than you but it's right. like you can say like, with all with respect right that you have gone through this and like maybe I can share some words with you that could be encouraging right and you can share something with them and they can take it or leave it, but it's to help right. them because, and this is loving each other, love your neighbor. So that's, that's what Sean said this morning. And he's talking about how he loves that community thing that's happening. And this, wow. and, and then I said, Oh, this is great. And so I kind of like shouted that out. And I also said that like in my own recordings, right? I said, this, this is great. And you can see that I've been influenced by this, right? Because I started listening to Sean Mize in the autumn of 2014 and got onto the whole purpose track with that because you have to know your purpose to create an online business. And then I, I did that and we've been talking and, th and that of course led to soul to soul, to soul connector because you're mm -hmm. a label of it. I had other things. I talked about high vibrational connecting before it, that's the same thing, right? It's led into that. Right. So he, uh, that's basically, it's basically that, that thing about the community. I'm just saying he influenced me with that and, that has helped and, and now we're doing it. So it's really cool, we're, we're all doing it. So I'm just, I'm just saying that for you, right? The community, that's really important for people because on the spiritual right. path, they don't want to just do it themselves. and there's a group energy, right? And it may be, you know, the age of the Aquarius now, it's the collaborative thing. People want to do this in groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it's great, um, I, th I think, um, and the web gives us worldwide access as a community. Yeah. I mean, you're, 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 you're down on the beautiful beaches of Costa Rica. Okay. Mexico now. Mexico. Oh, you're in Mexico now. <laughs> and, and I'm up in, you know, 
uh, the tundra. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up there before, and it was in the summertime, and it got bit by a bunch of bugs. It was about oh, yeah. um, but it, but it was almost light all the time too. It's kind of hard. Yeah, to... we we bring the heavy mosquitoes out to to uh, keep the uh, population down. Okay, mm -hmm. so so there's lots you know, of them. It was in none yeah. of them. It was in the Arctic Circle. Crazy. <laughs> But it's also cool too, different experience. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. So, because well, you were exaggerating with the tundra, right? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, and so. we, we call ourselves, uh, our state is mini snow tough. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, we, we have a lot of fun with that, you know. And, uh, oh, like uh, yesterday we were talking about uh, Broadway plays opening here and stuff like that, where, um, you know, we're we're mini apple instead of Minneapolis. We're the mini apple, like New York is the big apple. <laughs> um, you were talking about your group. Were you talking? What were you talking about going happening next year? Um, what, what oh, are you about? I've got. I, I've been so blessed with uh, different people that I have never met physically in my life. Okay, that became friends and deep connections via the internet and of course you know that's like it, us right through, it, through Lada. yeah yeah and i don't know exactly who i met Lada through but probably through a connection someone that was in network marketing and they were friends and then boom right Lada, and then Lada connected me with you and she told me about your programs a long time ago and now we're working together yeah tremendous so there's this gal um in the beginning i didn't even know that she was uh way in um i think it's eastern europe and and she was always commenting on some of the things that i had in the health and wellness area you know and i th of course i would zip into hers and like i mean like whoa going to the libraries of what, what what's the ancient libraries that they had in uh, in uh the far uh, east uh, yeah i mean the gal is just unbelievable what she is able to do and sort of like how Linda is is going to you know position herself in that so I'm going like wow I should appoint her to be you know I'm gonna I think next year I'm gonna say we're starting this loose community and I'm appointing <laughs> okay because <laughs> I'm president of <laughs> of worldwide dream builders i can i can appoint my cabinet <laughs> have some fun with it that, mm -hmm. that she'd be the director of health health and wellness okay mm -hmm. because everything that she posts there is remarkable i mean the other other day there was a connection we were talking about the gentleman that is now connecting things to the bible Oh, you know, I really, uh, we, we love like great people doing great things, right? Making the yeah. world a better place. So if you have an actual link, we, we can also share it too, like uh, below this video when we post it. Oh, so, so okay. like you said, if she's sharing these amazing things, we can put an example or we can just put a link to her profile or website. Yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, we can do that. So, so the gentleman you were talking to about bringing the Bible in and its richness for answers to life, you know, and business, is, yeah, Sean is, Wise. Yes. Right. Oh, excuse me for a second. Let me just... Yeah, I'll just fill them in case. I don't okay. really fill the space unless I mute, unless I mute you while it's doing that. Okay. Okay. Please. We're learning as we go along. So, <laughs> so he was he was saying, you know, bringing the Bible into our lives and and stuff. And I mean, I've done a, a lot of research and listening to where the Bible comes in health and wellness. Mm -hmm. But I came across something the other day, which was pretty profound. And that's where um, in Ezekiel, God gives us the answer to lowering our blood pressure and lowering all these other things that have to do in our systems, cancer and everything else. And, mm -hmm. And it hap happens, I can't remember the, the, the exact passage, but it talked about the olive, okay? Mm. And it's the olive itself, but in the olive, which if you buy olives at the store, they've been so processed that this unique 
which is kind of a bitter, gives it all of a bitter taste, actually is what you need in your system. But they throw that out so that it's palatable for people to eat. Oh, okay. And, and so that helps, but it's more important, the one that lowers your blood pressure and, and has access to doing all these other amazing things is in the leaf. Mm. The leaf of the olive branch or tree or, you know, fruit is the, the medicine. And in Ezekiel, it says, as for food is the olive and as the leaf is for your healing or for medicine is another translation, depending upon, and I'm going, oh my God. So, you know, you have tea leaves and stuff. You make all these teas. You make a, a medicinal um With a, um, a medicinal tea wow. with an olive leaf. Wow, this is wild. And because there's some, also symbology too, because you know with the with peace, there's a, a dove bringing an olive branch. And so, the, and I didn't make that connection, but now you're saying, <laughs> so then that way you know wow. it's it in there in the image. Yeah, I'm getting chills. Oh. <laughs> Makes you see it more. It helps to, to communicate the message. Yeah. Uh huh. But don't, so like if we and, want peace, we need to also use the olive because you see those are connected together. Right. Hmm. So, you know, stuck right there in the Bible is an answer to, you know, high blood pressure and all these other, you know. Uh, well, that's cool because then you can make the idea of, and maybe Linda will do this, right? Because yeah. John, he calls them the faith-based calls. He's applying it to business because he's teaching business and online marketing. So you can apply the Bible to health or any, any right. topic. You can say, here's this wisdom, right? And we're going to focus on it to help people because that's what the folly of the uh, University of, the, I mean, the Library of Alexandria was. I heard it from Carl Sagan in Cosmos. Oh. It's, it's that they were studying the stuff and making this knowledge, but not really like uh, positioning it or like helping the common people use it. So if you use the knowledge to help people better their lives, that's good. Right. But if we just use it and we just build it up in the library, the common people didn't understand it, didn't know the value of the library, and they burned it down. <laughs> it wasn't helping them. So we have to think about what's their problems and help them solve them. Right. It's kind of like Lady Di found out what was going on amongst the crown of England, and the crown got to her before the people found out. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't know about that. Oh, that's pretty – yeah. <laughs> but I ain't going anything further. <laughs> Because right. <laughs> I want to be above ground for a good while. <laughs> and those kind of people have their ways of, you know, quashing mm -hmm. things that get out of hand, even amongst themselves, as we saw, <laughs> unfortunately. Mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm praying Dye's boys will kind of get her from you know, the other side, the spiritual connection. And hmm. that we were be talking about Heaven on Earth Day, yes. Yeah. Like with, with Joy Peterson. Yes. So I want to look at that logo and see if the olive branch is there too. But there's definitely the dove, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, she's got that. So she's got a dove holding an olive branch in front of the world, right? Celebrate Heaven on Earth Day. Wow. Okay, cool. Just wanted to check that because on, on Google, when I'm searching olive branch peace, uh, yeah, you get pictures of a dove with an olive branch, and it and of course the olive branch on Wikipedia, right? It describes right. that it's the symbol of peace. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's going to be exciting. Absolutely. Thanks for bringing yeah. that to our attention. We'll see where we go with that, and and I, you know, so you get people like I think her name is Samir, I think. Yeah, um, I can't pronounce her last name because I've never heard it yet. Uh, and um, <clears throat> but uh, you know, for for Linda to kind of uh, be the not the librarian but the chief researcher into all this, you know, reawakened Alexandria information. You know, mm -hmm. a and, lot of information. And, most of it was destroyed, right? We only got a, a small part of it, right? Mm -hmm. But the the great thing it's it's we can actually recollect it from our own minds. 
Oh, I yeah. was just sharing with my, my youngest daughter, Angie, the other day that all of this ideas of the computer, all this technology always existed. So the thing is, why didn't people 2,000 years ago use computers? Mm. You know, like, why wasn't computers when I was growing up? You know? I, they hadn't built them yet? Or we didn't they, believe it was possible? We, yeah, we didn't access. Because, you know, nobody took Jesus seriously when he said, greater things than I will you do. You know, mm. because there's, uh, early on in my life, I realized there was uh, – I read somebody that, uh, from somebody that said there's two ways to have people not follow somebody. You make them a saint or make them a fool. Okay. So they made Jesus, you know, this, you know, in, independent about anybody thinks or celebrates Jesus. Okay. But how many people have taken on Jesus's words that said greater things than I shall you do? Ah, I'm taking that on. I, I said that. To yeah. Before. <laughs> because Jesus didn't have access to computers, hmm. you know? So right. it's like, so he's invited us to take our God-given creation of our body, mind, soul, and everything to this higher level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this part is super inspiring here. And, and I've listened to a TED or TEDx talk on, yeah. on that, that kind of thing where he's saying like, because we, everything we've done before we can build upon, right? Standing on the shoulders of giants. So they, these people have created stuff. I mean, these ideas that now exist, right? If we brought in right. Leonardo da Vinci was way ahead of his time. He, so he got the idea. Right. And then the, this was before we could build helicopters, right? But he had the inventions. <laughs> right. Um, and, and so like things like all these piano, all these instruments, I mean, so you got harp, piano, when the piano is invented, now someone's born, there's already a piano that exists. Now you can play it and you can play like the way right. people played and you can create new ways. So we can always build, we're playing in all these different melodies and things and then also merging them and inventing new ones. So we just continue to have more things that we can do. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's pretty amazing. So, so I, think, I think you're really right about that, that it's like the, I, the information exists, the knowledge exists, and then we're waking up, we, re, we remember it. It's infinite intelligence, right? That exists, right. and you tap into it. So when people sit there, I think like at Thomas Edison, and holds like a couple of balls in his hand, and then and sits there and like starts to fall asleep, and then the balls fall to the ground, and that sound woke him up. He's in that a dream state, he's just starting to fall asleep, so he has an, his next idea. He, so he was... Right. He would engineer that. Um, and so I, I think what you're saying, that's right. It's like the ideas come and then, then we can make the things. Because without right. the invention, we, we can't make it. We have to have the idea of how we can make it. And then the more things we have, we're able to combine them together. So it just opens up more possibilities. You know, you, you, you look at the statements of prophets in the Bible made for the end times, you know, and you're talking about, you know, here's, Leonardo da Vinci with the, you know, the helicopter type of thing. And, and then the prophets had pro prophesied far long before him that these flying grasshoppers, well, that's, that's a helicopter. But they didn't have a term for helicopter back then. The only thing that looked like that was a grasshopper leaping up, you know, and... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, we get inspiration. We can get inspiration from nature because when you look at birds and look at the shape of their wing, then you can derive the principle of how that they glide. Yeah. And works, right. It's and you get yeah. the shape of the bird. And so if you just make something like that, it will glide. And then if you power it, it's it's a plane, right? So it, right. it's already there. And 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 God hid in every living creature the Fibonacci mo model, you know. Uh -huh. But that is really, I mean, other than Fibonacci getting pretty excited about it. It hasn't been too, you know, <laughs> prevalent. You know, I never had the Fibonacci model in, in uh, all my schooling, all my formal. Uh, it was but it's informal. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw those yeah. pictures. It's like it's all, it's all one. Like it shows you all these things. So you see a fern, right, and a, the spiral in a, uh, in a shell, right, and so on. So then there's just like hundreds of them. Mm -hmm. Well, galaxies, right, spiral galaxies. Right. So it's like I had the same experience. Well, like 
with my, my teachers going like, why didn't they tell me about this? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I find out when I'm 28 years old about Fibonacci model, and I'm going like, oh my gosh, talking about simplifying things. And my youngest daughter the other day, she had a math question, and I go, oh, Angie, you just do this, this, this. And she goes, dad, that's awesome. Why did you tell me that before? What was it? What was the thing? The how did that break her through? Like, what idea is that? I'm gonna grab a book. Oh, yeah, right, right. I, I, I'm not quite sure what the specific problem was. I just remembered the result was she had this question. Well, Dad, why didn't you tell me that before? And I'm going like, you know, the expectations we have, mm. you know, like our minds can't handle this or whatever. Yet we have all these kids, you know. They call them savants, and and or they call them um, geniuses or whatever. These kids playing, you know. Uh, well, Mozart, six years old, you know, doing music, you know, like he did. Well, yeah. probably because his parents took an interest in helping him. Yeah, in his mind. support their gifts, right? Encourage. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you know, my my daughter, you know, it's it's kind of like I brought her up on, you know. Like just in math, taking an example, okay, is what why I was so good at math when I was growing up. I had relevancy. It wasn't rote. Okay, you you do this math and you get this answer. And it's reason not connected did, to anything uh, in the world. Right. So I had a reason to learn. You know, my 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 father showed me that you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. Oh, so that's cool. I, my my dad did that too. Like, oh. well, we were in the forest, right? When he shows, yeah. so if you want to know how high the, the top, the length, like the height of that tree, you can go back a distance, right? And, and measure an angle to the top of the tree and pace off towards the tree. Cause that's, that's trigonometry. You got the base of right. the angle and the angle right. and calculate the height of the tree. <coughs> right. So and, like, and, and then know. I became a surveyor later, but he was a surveyor. In the <laughs> right. Anyway, you can no see accident that's there, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you know, so early on, my, my daughter loved to cook things. So we go like, okay, now, you know, we're going to do, um, you know, the, the math. They, and they, they, they say it in school, but they never get to eat the math. Okay. So, uh, you know, like, okay, here's a pie for fractions, you know, and then we cut it here and cut it there. When they first do that, they don't introduce fractions because they think the kids can't handle it. You know, oh. they say, "Oh, you cut it up into eight pieces." Oh. You know, but they don't do add, multiply. You know, like mm -hmm. you know, they don't give them that. That's a good and idea so, to give it to like, them when when they're eating the pie. Yeah, it makes sense. yeah. There's five you know, things with pie because pie is a circle, and we, and I joked about this with my dad because there's like pie. Pi r squared, but no pies are pies are round, right? It doesn't matter. Right. Right. And then another one is you got pi, like there's radians, right? So a radian, one pi, there's two pi radians around the circle. Right. That's 360 degrees, 6.28 or whatever, right? Yeah. Radians. So the, the radian is where you've got this angle inside there where you've got the radius, and then you've got another one, right? And then here's the arc. So this arc length is the same as the radius length. And that, that so when you got s equals r, that's one radian, right? That's wow. what radian means. So it's mathematical, like it mathematically works so that you can multiply things in a formula. Uh, right. You can't do that with degrees, but you can do it with radians, where it's a real number it multiplies together. So yeah. this radian thing, it's like so there's two pi around it. So then there's like pi is 180 degrees, right? It's half of a pi. So <laughs> that's the funny thing. See. So then when we had half a pie, we have a half pie, me and my dad, it's there. And it's like, it's blueberry and it's a half pie, but then that's, but that's pie radians around it. Right. And if we each right. have a quarter of the pie, then each, it was just, it's just funny because there's, there's a, a double or a half thing that gets confused. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah. So like you, you, you get this, you know, pie math stuff going. And, and the kids get excited about it, you know? So uh, for a while, I was just doing after school little classes. The kids go through school all day long, okay? And then they come home. They're more excited because when they get home, I spend a half an hour. I have a little easel, you know, pretend it's like a classroom. 
and we we do fun math, okay? And so, like, she had two friends that were like super charged to do this, and I would show them math tricks, and then they would do it in school. <laughs> So like they go to the end of the class. I mean, they're figuring all this stuff up. My my daughter now can do math in her head. So because she had fun with it, because you showed them how to have fun with it, then they can yeah. just go to the, the top of the class. It, it, it's it's, it's kind of like, like oh, this kid's like really smart, and right? come come up and show us how to do this one, right? They go up, right? Go down the board, yeah. And give you a good example. Uh, your your Canadian plus whatever, so like there's a nationality and. And, and so I'm an American, and we, we as Americans are much lower on, I call it the Richter scale, of Canadians. We're not as smart as you guys up north, okay? Oh. It, it's because of school systems. You know, it's like, uh, it could be that it's warmer there, and when it's up colder in the igloos, like you got to go inside more so you study more. Yeah, I, I, mean, I have no idea. I, I think it's quality of education. <laughs> so... Um, but I'm in Mexico now, so now I like to lie on the beach as much as possible. Right. <laughs> so, you know, in the United States, there was always this problem, still is, that so many Americans can't give up their uh, their other old math system, you know, like um, measurements, okay? Into oh, the yeah, the imperial, going from yeah. the imperial to metric or, yeah. Right. You know, so, so I'm going like, you know, I was trying to help these girls learn and going like, okay, you know, it's kind of based, you know, multiplication. If you get out of the way that we were taught to do math and you get into the universal way of math, it's all, you know, like factors of 10. I said, so I said, how many fingers you got? I go, yeah, 10 fingers. I yeah. said, that's how easy math is. Take one of those. Okay. That's, that's a 10 unit. Okay. Yeah. And when you have multiplication, I call it finger math. So anytime you're multiplying by 10, you have this decimal you move point. The decimal. Yeah. So, yeah, so I call it finger math. They went crazy on this. And then it was so fun because each of the three girls were in three different math classes at the same school. Okay. And they were like rocketing to the front, having all these answers go. And the, this gal that oh. was uh, a good friend of Angie's, uh, Cassidy, um, she did that in her class, and everybody was going like, oh, "Where, you know, how'd you do that?" And they said, "Oh, I learned it from Angie's dad the other day, having fun, having fun, not having school, having fun." Cool. I mean, it was like, "Oh yeah." So, you, you you help create champions, Matthew, in in different topics. Yeah, so it's like okay, and 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 that's where like. You know these kind of segueing back to the the prophets of old. They they had these answers. You know what was going to happen, but they they didn't have terminology for it and because there was no experience. It hadn't been brought. Yeah, you know, and even now, heaven it's on even earth. Same, it's even the same now. And, right. Um, I just interviewed Sal Rakelli, the author of Soul Integration, on Monday, and. That's that's what he said. Like we, the, the human language doesn't have words for it, so it's a little difficult to explain in our right. language. Yeah. But so that native getting, like higher dimensional knowledge channeled through them, and and they're helping him write the books. Right. So it, you know, in the United States, when the na native and First Nation Indians, okay, First Nation people, you know, they saw this train coming across. The only thing they could liken it to, they called it the iron horse. Oh, yeah. Because that's the only thing that could move that fast was a horse. Okay. okay? But it was built, like, out of iron. Yeah. So, of course, it's an iron horse. Yeah. You know, so, there, you know. And that's, the, like, that's also like the boats. When uh, the natives in Canada or America saw boats coming across at first, some of them couldn't see it because they didn't believe that, that it's possible. <laughs> and and then someone it's like they, they they're like there's some kind of disturbance there there's waves why are there waves in the ocean rippling from the hull right and they're oh. like what's going on here they couldn't see the boat and then when one of them they someone tried really hard or he tuned in and he sees the boat and they explained it and others could see it but see they couldn't see it before they could believe it i gotta use that metaphor for for students that i trade <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I love the way that you teach it and that you start with like you're, you're not aware of it yet the different levels of unconscious oh yeah sense and all that hmm. maybe I, i'll i'll mesh those two okay 
Yeah. Because we can't see it. Yeah, most people don't know why people really buy and how all these different habits of people, these different characteristics, groups of people behaving right. in ways for whatever reason. And, and they're living amongst it. That's the funny thing. Like you said, you know, here's the boats coming in and the people can't see it. I'm going like, yeah. here's somebody like literally screaming their buying habit to you and you can't hear it. You look and like you, you also can't see, see it. it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And like, like you said, maybe with Linda, right? Like not being able to connect with preservers, but then boom, it opened yeah. up once you showed her. And, and I wanted to say like, yeah, yeah, you'll see it with people, right? But, but also in the grocery store, it's there, but we may not be noticing it. So, because <laughs> remember the number of products, right? In supermarkets or, or right. stores, it used to be very small, right? And it gets bigger and bigger. So now you go to the honey section or go to pickles, whatever, uh, toilet paper, right? Anything. So in that section, look at all those options, right? And then right. like you showed with cereal, right? So then there's these options and then those are going to appeal to the different buying habits. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's great. <laughs> So, oh, I wanted to mention the book because you're talking about spirals. So Fibonacci spiral yeah. must be integral to many things, like something somehow the universe being mathematically based or whatever. Just certain universal laws, right? That that apply all, everywhere, right? Like gravity. Oh yeah. So see, so fire dancer. Notice, and this is part yeah. of why I was like, oh, that's great, right? Your spiral journey to a life of passion and purpose. See that? Whoa. Right. This book's actually for women and it's written by Cami Gildner. And I chose it first because I wanted to potentially interview her, right? Like positiononpurpose.com. Uh, how did, uh, because we want to help position on purpose. She, Sorry? She had, okay. Oh yeah, so you're getting the oh. book. It's saying our connection is not great right now for a second. Anyway, there's there's Kami, yep. right? But it's not focused at the right distance. There we go. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, see, I recommend this book. I've read most of it already. Most, right? And I highly recommend that book. She knows more about what I do than than this, like like on this thing of living your like purposeful life. I wrote uh, this. A story, aimless to purposeful, right? Wow. The book, uh, Your Shift Matters. Okay. So that, there's my first story about it, about cool. my story of getting onto a path of purpose. Um, yeah, I've talked about the evolution of a path of purpose. It keeps evolving. Right. Her book is, is very resourceful and, and can show you step by step. And she's gone farther along the path. And you can totally monetize doing what you love. That book's super powerful. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. So there's that spiral. <laughs> yeah. So it, we're we're in for some exciting times here. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for the conversation, Matthew. Is there a, anything else you want to share? Uh, we were probably going to do a very short one about yeah. soul, soul connection. <laughs> Then we have a soul to soul connection, right? Then we right. demonstrate it. We're not here because we're we're actual friends, right? And right, you know, so we just talk and and it, and it's very interesting. Yeah, good times always uh, together mm -hmm. with you. Appreciate. So this it. is a soul to soul talk. I hope you're okay with me putting it online as, as yeah, because this is a great a great demonstration of it, and people can dig into any of the things. So when you see this thing shared, then then write a comment on it, right? Ask us any right. question because it can spiral into other things, right? We can go yeah. into things in the future. How do you, what do you, what do you think about that, Matthew? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, uh, we, yeah. we want to make sure that Linda has a chance to, uh, um, maybe when she's on her vacation or something at mm -hmm. night, she can listen to this because in there for her, lots of different connections that she's going to make. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you. Uh, and I see the reason I was a little bit disconnected there because I'm thinking in my head, right? Because it's soul to soul talk. And, and we were planning to do one sometime, but we never, we haven't done it yet. And, and that would be like you sharing your expertise. But now okay. we've, done, we've done one informally here. So, so like, how do people get to know you more or your work? 
Oh, is, is that uh, a question or a rhetorical? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's my question for you. How do people oh. get to know about your... Oh, it's real, real, real easy. They can go to my, my Facebook, okay, which is Matthew Sickich. And the spelling is S as in Sam, I-K-I-C-H. Or they can go to the fivebindhabits.com or masteryofloving.com. Now, it's so interesting. <laughs> Didn't you tell me that is that Miguel is uh, lives right who who wrote the the Four Agreements and Mastery of Love? Those are two books. The, 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 oh yeah, the man, um, Don Miguel Ruiz. Uh, oh, he, this this guy Alan Hardman is a is like a mentee of his. He studied with him, and then he's also extended the work and focuses on relationships. So Toltec, so does, does Don live? down where you were or are yeah and where i am yeah and i wasn't in costa rica in case that's just a for a correction right if anyone thought that yeah no i oh, I, 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 I just put that i just put that on so the nsa wouldn't follow you oh <laughs> and i don't even know what the nsa is okay oh, the nsa is our our beloved um all seeing all hearing uh programs by the usc cia and, and Oh yeah. yeah, but I'm not a U.S. citizen though. Not yeah, but we, American. We, they follow everybody everywhere. <laughs> Just oh, so Mexico. Like, yeah, they got they're everybody. They're involved with Mexico. Yeah, right. They're involved everywhere. Right. So is uh, is Don Miguel uh, where you are right now? No, no, no. What I mean is, is this guy worked with him, right? He studied, oh. him. and so okay. he's also a Toltec elder or something he's he's also a master of toltec and he, he's also extending it and focusing on relationships and, wow. and he did that um like accept and love your inner child meditation for our group he was here so he's sitting next to me here or over here and we did that here he's a few couple wow. houses down joydancer.com it's alan hardman dance dance alan with joy. or dance through life with joy or something it's, it's joydancer.com okay Okay, I'll put your links, as you were saying. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, and so, what is something? Do you have any any gifts for people that they could get for free? Yeah, you know, I for for me, if they contacted me, tell them where they're where they are at in their life and what they're looking for, you know. Um, because I cross a lot of different disciplines, there might be something that I'd be happy to just share with them, you know, to experience each other and, 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 and take it from there. But, you know. Okay. So how do they, how do they reach out to you? Okay. I uh, mentioned, they can go to Facebook. Okay. Yeah. And you can uh, put the connection on Facebook um, mm -hmm. there. They can go to the five buying habits, you know, mm -hmm. website there. And you can put the number five, or the, or the word five in, it goes the yeah. same. And then uh, Mastery of Loving, masteryofloving.com. Mm -hmm. And they can connect either by phone, email, whatever. You mm -hmm. know, It's very um, impactful work. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, when we were talking yesterday to Sharon in that, um, I do the business stuff because it works, but I also choose who I do it in business because it's so powerful. As, as you can see, General Mills uses it in a very powerful way, to, you know, mm -hmm. not telling people how they're using it, you know, yes. you have to buy their product. But oh, it's, right. it's, By not showing their logo on one of the, one of the lines. Right. And so, um, you know, I don't work with companies that are in arms, um, uh, liquor, you know, um, yeah, you know Monsanto. You know the the mm -hmm. things that would be I call disruptive to the human soul. Uh huh. Pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Right. All so. Right. So, uh, I, I, so I I help. I like to put in the concept there of right livelihood. Like I I've looked this yeah. up. I know this is what the Buddha talked about. One of the things of the eightfold path. I think he says. Uh, so right livelihood is one of them, which means that don't do don't have your livelihood something that causes harm to other people. And that can well, be yeah, and, alcohol and all this stuff. Yeah, and going back to the biblical thing, it, you know, righteousness isn't like this, oh, you know, like yeah. I'm 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 living holier than thou type of thing. It's right 
useness, righteousness, the, how, how to use something in the right way. Mm, like so, using the mind in the right way. <laughs> exactly. So I do that stuff business-wise, you know, to help people's gifts flourish in whatever their gift is to humankind. And my primary, you know, like gift to people is really in the area of communication of God created our minds and how we can use that so effectively and elegantly to communicate what we really want to say and communicate to somebody so that they can receive it in the way that they are receiving it. It's like having, you know, if I want to go to Germany, it's a good idea if I knew German, but if I don't, it's great to have a translator, you know, mm -hmm. and to have that translator actually <laughs> know English and German. Yeah, not just some things from a dictionary. Right, exactly. So, um, so it, it, it's really important. So my mastery of loving is really showing you how you can have the quickest and easiest way to translate your soul to the soul of another human being having to use languages which you and i are using english right now okay the key is what if people are you know french well they still have a relationship with each other or french to german or or you know canadian to russian you know you, you still go through this in, in this connection, there's a way when you're trying to make that connection, like we talked about the prophets and helicopters, they, they, had to, they had to call them grasshoppers. That's all they knew. Mm. You know, it wasn't wrong. You know, we can't make them wrong. Oh, they were wrong. Therefore, I'm not going to believe them. You know, like. Mm. <laughs> so, like, because so, some grasshoppers are locusts, they can, like, jump, and then they can do this kind of flapping thing and go up more. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, see, it, and you know, like we said, the Native American iron horse, the only language they knew. So when we're t communicating to each other, we're doing the best we can to communicate our soul to soul. Right. See? Yeah, because we're talking through a lower bandwidth thing, like what we're doing here. With what yeah. we're doing here is a higher bandwidth than if we were talking over the phone because we can see each other. So there's some facial expressions. Right. But if, we, but if we were in person, it would be even higher than what we're doing now. And, right. And then if you involve telepathy uh, or telepathy, then, then it's higher because there's more bandwidth rather than just like our words. Right. And if you're just texting back and forth, it's even much lower. It's not even talking on the phone. So you notice what I do in the masterminds, okay? I lower my vibration, okay? So I get into an alpha state rather than beta state. Uh, when the people are talking beta, I'm lowering myself and then trying to move into their essence. And uh, then I draw these, get these ideas. <laughs> you know, like you saw me holding uh, up pieces of paper and that because I'm more visual, you know, in my Oh yeah, those were really, those were brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I'm listening at all levels because in Mastery of Loving, I have a brilliant section on listening skills because as an American, we're not taught to listen to anybody else but ourselves. Don't let that out. Okay. Don't let anybody else in our nation know this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't listen to any, I mean, like you said, the boats are coming, you know, all around the world. Okay. All these things are happening. The last for people to know in the United States is because if it doesn't have something to do with Hollywood or sports, okay, mm. you know, we're number 34 in healthcare, the richest country on the world. How is that? Yeah. yeah. That's dumb. Okay. If oh, I might. Because our health is so important. Yeah. And if yeah, it's dumb that. and dumber. <laughs> Yeah, and the Canadians laugh at us. They go like, oh my gosh, what are those poor Americans? Oh, yeah. are? <laughs> and, and we have pity, too, because yeah. we have it so much better <laughs> in know. Canada. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sad. It's, oh, yeah. And I got, you know, the place where I live, you know, we have all these beautiful um, East Indian consultants coming in, okay, to consult with these Fortune 100 companies, you know, whether 
It's Best Buy, Target, 3M. You know, I mean, like we have some pretty powerful companies here in Minneapolis, but we're loaded with Indian consultants because there's not enough smart American uh, that, that can do the work. Mm, it could be a diet. The diet's really important. Like you brought up olive, you gotta have that olive tree. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, Greek, Greece, right? Yeah, in the, the islands Greeks, of Greece. Friend, they came George up. Bios, have, you know, my brother oh, yeah, George. Oh, yeah, they have that great dancing. Yeah, that's right. They, they love yeah. life and live it. But, but, but what I'm saying is, though, they came up with democracy. They, they started free thinking in Greece. Right. Maybe that was with the olives, like natural right. olives, because they're growing it. So maybe that made a connection. But yeah, they, they created democracy and free, free thinking. That's Carl Sagan said that in wow. Sagan in, in Cosmos. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, you know, you you have this amazing um, life. Okay, it, it, it's how we communicate it to each other. Hmm. So, yeah, the mastery of mastery of loving program is pretty. It you know, like, it's intense only from the aspect that you get a four year college education in 24 hours, uh, 12, so 12, 12 sessions of two hours. Hmm. And that, and then I, I put it over, over a little bit of time. I've done it in, um, well, down in Mexico, I, uh, uh, one executive uh, took me down for a week uh, to do for he and his wife four hours a day, and we played the rest of the time. Hmm. I love that, <laughs> you know? I want to do that in Tulum. <laughs> Oh, cool. In Tulum? Tulum, yeah. Oh, awesome. Cool. I love that. You know, mm. Take 20 or 40 people because there's this great little um, mm. society conscious, um, what, do you, what do you call it, resort there ah. that usually mm. has yoga and, you know, mm. um, some highly enlightened um, that'll be forms. That would be a beautiful yeah. place where the white sand beach, the reef out there, <laughs> snorkeling, uh, colorful fish. I was there when I was four. Oh, wow. See? It was like... We camped. There was nothing built there yet. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> like, probably my favorite place at that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, the the things that, that are there, like you saw the five buying habits. Like I, I can take all of this very complicated stuff, you know, um, and bring it down in a very short period of time. I mean, you, you did that like in six hours. I mean, like uh, three sessions of two, but it was yeah. less than a day. You now know more than 99% of the marketers worldwide. Mm, you gave me a big advantage. Thank you. Yeah. And, 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 and then it's all on one page, you know, when we get... Yeah. So you print out one page, take it with you, you know, or like memorize it. Mm -hmm. And it's that simple. Life is that, you know, the simplicity. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, and that came from my coaching. You know, it's like everything is fundamental. Mm, that's why I'm I saying think, that I'm giving people the best connections and make, make the right introductions or the best introductions, right? To help you. Yes. Kind of, uh, you know, like better audiences, or we, we could say the best audiences, right? Um, yeah. The, and, the best. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if you, the, kind of like the not the best as like i'm higher than you but the very best of who we can be okay people to connect with each other i mean like who could who can better paint a, a a picture of yourself or your family than pete hmm. right you not, know, like, no, not, no one that i know of <laughs> no i know it's like oh my gosh you know, and now, you know, Linda, you brought Linda into my life and now, you know, like. Oh, and not just you and your family. I mean, we got to say, right. Cause it's not just right. you and your organization, uh, uh, an event that's happening, the yoga class or the yoga festival, right. Or a conference. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just an amazing. Um, and I'm excited, you know, for this new year then coming because um, I'm going to, you know, like start gifting the your gift to my friends on Facebook. Of, of so I, said, I said, you know, like if you really want to connect with somebody, you know, give Bevan a call. All you have to do is 
and you know, just reach out the, to me. Yeah, write me. Reach out. out and like, you know, oh, you're a friend of Matthews. Boom, you'll you'll know yeah. the quality. It's the same of thing. What you had with me, right? <laughs> right. I connect someone to you. You're like, oh, it's one of Bevan's connections, right? And then you have this deep connection. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll have that same thing. And I understand right. the language. And if you send the five buying habits alumni people to meet, we have that common language that you shared with us. Yeah, right. Yeah, and, and it's, so, you know, you go to all these network meetings to meet people, chamber of commerce and everything else, but you don't get to meet their soul. Hmm. You know? It, so if you're, if you're missing soul in your life, right, then talk to me because I can help bring it, bring it out. Right. I'll help you, you want to take your, your life. Soul, but most specifically, the gift is connecting you with other people soul to soul because I've connected yeah. my own soul then I connect to your soul. I connect to, that's how I connect with everyone. So I can connect you based on values and your mission. Yeah. Marketing soul to soul or making a connection soul to soul mm -hmm. is, is far more expansive to every, every, every area of your life mm -hmm. than the systems way of marketing. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah, systems or strategies. Yeah, yeah, you're and totally metrics, radically metrics, changing metrics and like here's the, the statistics of this because that's not looking at the individual interactions and who those people are. And if you take into account five buying habits, then you can rock it because you can create multiple <laughs> funnels instead of just one. You can have one for each buying habit that you serve, just as an example. But, but going beyond just that like metrics stuff and automation, but like the real soul to soul connection, it's important that people are looking for it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, Oh, it's, I wanted to say, here's, here's that other thing, right? Um, Mark Porteous inspired messengers network. I heard him in the uh, joint venture marketing mastery uh, summit recently. Okay. And he, he was talking about like evolutionary marketing. And so what you're just saying, I'm just bringing that up that he right. talked about that. That's super important because people, so there's all these, he had seven or eight pillars of it. And obviously one is authenticity. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, so this means like not having manipulations and things in our, in our market. <gasps> like that's what, right. um, that's what Simon Sinek writes about in start with why near the beginning manipulations which includes promotions and things, bonuses. Oh, there's all kinds of ways of doing manipulation, which doesn't create loyalty versus starting with why. So what's our mission? Why are we doing this? Right. And then that right. will motivate people because they, they care about that too. Our why sets us apart. Well, it differentiates it's, us. Rather. And it's kind, of, it's kind of like how you and I, we needed to get out the, we needed to get away from the systems way. Okay. Of enticing people rewarding people to the soul to soul connection with my gift to the people that are going to sign up for your mastermind because the old way was, Oh, here's a bonus. Okay. No, here's oh, a you discount it differently. You give, you give a gift. So here's I, the gift and that's a gift certificate and they get that and then print it out. That's actually very smart. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm literally giving, a scholarship gift to someone who has an interest in in learning from and, and being associated with you, which I'm going, hey, you know, we're going to a party, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll bring, you know, it's like bring your own or, 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 or uh, everybody brings something, somebody brings a salad, oh, somebody like, brings okay. a salad. You're bringing it to the mastermind. Uh, to other members, and that's your gift to them. The, yeah, the, so giving them a scholarship our, to your institute. So mm -hmm. I wanted to create this potluck um, energy ah, going cool. surrounding the party that we're all going to have in the mastermind with you. Oh, that's awesome! Thanks for being a leader and uh, stepping up and, and doing that first. Right, because because we only so, started it like the uh, earlier this year, Conscious Business Leaders Mastermind. It was probably started around March in this year. But then yeah. soul the soul mastermind was after you dug me the soul soul, right? And later soul soul connector. Yeah. Later we started. So it's only been two months and now it, the free soul to soul mastermind ended or it's ending right at the end of the year. And yeah, you know, right. 
paid. So you're the first, you're like, you're the first member and you have, you've brought this. That's really awesome. Yeah. People, that's right. a good idea for the members to do. Think about what they can give to other members. And, and it's like, it's a formalized thing and that's your gift. So any member can have that gift. That's what you're giving to them. And it, right. it helps us collaborate and it's transformational. That's what I wanted to mention about this is because I kind of forgot what to say about Mark Porteous there, except for evolutionary marketing, right? But okay. he's talking about joint ventures because that's the JV summit. That was a summit about joint ventures. So he was saying it's not transactional, like go beyond that and have transformational relationships, right? And me Whoa. and you have a transformational yeah. relationship because we gave to each other. Right. And we can right. tell that story. I put it into a, into a newsletter I created, the first issue told that story just as one example but yeah we gave gifts to each other it becomes transformational if you do it transformational, right. you go okay like i'm going to promote you and here's the reciprocation like we're organizing organizing it like that but rather instead it's like well we believe in this mission right like we're passionate about it like how can right. i serve you right and, and you do it it's basically the two people are coming together and going like like how can we work together like how can we serve our audiences better by working together and it's like transformational because we just care. We don't have to have a reciprocation. Right. And then, then of course, reciprocation happens in the future anyway, or it doesn't, but it doesn't matter either way because you don't force mm -hmm. it. Transformational. And hmm. two really profound um, experiences of that I've had in my life was in the Bible, it talked about the fishes and loaves, okay? So that's exactly what happened, by the way. Ah, uh, the more we share, the more we have. Leonard Nimoy, right? The more, and there was, we, share, the more we have. And there was abundantly, abundantly left over than was started with. Ah, uh, I, I got to interview someone recently as part of Goodness Abounds book, and she experienced a miracle because she wanted to uh, feed people that had less at Christmas. And they did it. They went and collected food, right, and did this thing. And mm -hmm. then they thought, oh, we're going to have to we give them these small portions. Like, they have to divide it up. And they're doing that and then they're like oh, okay we can give them seconds and more and they didn't think they were going to eat the ones that were uh, the volunteers giving it out then they right. had food and there was extra there was leftovers after so she said that the food multiplied because they could see how much it was and that there was more she said they witnessed a, a christmas miracle there because they they were doing it with love right they wanted to feed the, the people right it's so awesome <laughs> yeah. see wow i'm just getting this part, if you this just what say, she told me, and it was for me, it's hard to believe it. But I just, yeah. had, I just let her go because it's it soul to soul talks, right? I gotta just let her say it, and I'm not gonna judge it. But it's hard for me to believe the miracle. That's why the soul to soul connection that you make for people is immensely important to their lives. When you post this, tell people to go to the end first, listen to this part, yeah, then this go, part. Yeah, hmm? then go back, because that part at we call miracle, okay, <clears throat> is what happens. So that part with the five, the loaves and fishes and her real experience, which is a miracle, okay, because yeah. somebody can't see what's really happening when you put love into it. That's the soul to soul, okay? Yeah, because you love, well, love is, unconditional love is five dimension. It's five yeah. D, and we have to get to 5D to get into heaven on earth. This is what Joy Peterson said yesterday. We're going to be digging into it more. Please tell oh. me if you have any questions about heaven on earth. <laughs> do, Matthew. If you have any, then, I'm, going to, I'm going to ask her. Okay. And then the other part was Chief South, who was up in your area, in Washington, the state of Washington, okay, with his tribe, Chief South, who was called Chief Seattle by the white man, okay? Hmm. The home I always count on the white man to name you <laughs> so chief south they always had overabundance every year because they in some people they call it a communism okay but it truly was a communal way that people gave of themselves their gift of what they could do those who cooked cooked those yeah. who sowed sowed those who hunted hunted they brought it all to the warehouse, they call it. And then from that, the people had abundance. had abundance. They had so much left over that even when these terrorists came, called the white man, okay, because in the United States of America, okay, 
First Nation people been fighting terrorism since 1492. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, like yeah. right? The, the terrorist land. Terror yeah. So like we we know about terrorism <laughs> because it was our history. <laughs> <laughs> so the Indians. The Indians had all this left over. They even gave it to their enemies, the whites, uh, so they could make it through the winter. But you think the whites? Well, they saved them. See, they cared about them. They loved their neighbor. They helped those guys survive. They were people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. You need a family. You're starving. You need cold. You need you. you here, here's some skins. You, you know, here's the oh, yeah. warmth. Here's the teepee. You know, we'll put one up for you. You know. Yeah. And then instead of appreciating them, huh. they mechanically went back. Oh, the reason why we're really here is to kill you, you know, like or or to push you off your land. We'll take the good land and huh. push you off. So they came back later. later they came back later with more people and finished them off. Right, or or pushed them off into what they thought was the poorest lands at the time, and then became very wealthy. And and like huh. to this day, you know, yeah, the, the they're still trying have, to build pipe. Yeah, that's where yeah. you can spend money because uh, the house always wins. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, so it's it may so Chief South, you know, Jesus with the fishes and loaves, this gal feeding that. It's it's that soul to soul connection. Huh. And if anything should transform and change radically the system, it will be the that we are going we are going to choose to market soul to soul. Wow. It's, yeah. Hmm. It's, it's amazing. Because like you said, isn't it great that you can go to the marketplace with authenticity? Yeah. And now it works better. Now people need it because some people are talking about launch models not working so well and stuff. Or it's, it's not really launched. There's nothing wrong with the launch method. It's that no. um, if you do things in a slimy way, it's if you do things that are manipulative, basically, or you're not authentic. And there's right. other things you can do too, but those it, it, obviously prevent it from working as well as it could if you be yourself. Right. I mean, it, it's just kind of really important to remember the, the only reason people are doing anything, they're going with the best information that they believe they have right now. Because part of the their lack of belief is they don't know that they don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, so. Unconscious, they, unco incompetence. Yeah. So you get, you know, all this terrible uh, oppression of others. Okay. Because somebody is so needy. They're so what we call sort by self. They need to be filled up first. They don't know how to ask for their needs lovingly. Yeah. Like, you know, it's easier to take a gun and point at someone and give, give me, give me all your money behind the cash register. You know, right. it's easier, to, you know, like they, they think it's quicker and easier and everything else, but it's short sighted, mm. you know, mm. let's go in the boat where this is a faster way going down this river. Okay. And the other people go, well, we'll take the slow route goes around here and goes around there. And the fast way gets them over the falls. Waterfall. <laughs> right? yeah. That's why the river was so fast. But they couldn't comprehend it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So all these people oppressing one another, you know, the Weinstein, you know, oppressing women through the ages so that he could get and manipulate and have great movies come out. And, and he'd be oh. well known and he'd control that. You know, control freaks, power freaks, whatever you want to call it. How did it, how did it make great movies come out? Because he got his pick of who the actresses and actors were. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, and big he, names make a movie, or at least they make the box, box office uh, right. attraction. Yep. Yeah. You know, and so you get all of this, you know, real, um, if you want to call it satanic or, or just like deathly stuff coming into your lives because people are short sighted that by loving and putting the seed of love into another person, into uh, building your business, um, building your family, building your relationship, is, is that you can really go a long way and have ultimately what we all want, is, mm -hmm. is love and happiness. You know? I've, heard, happiness. I've, heard, 
I've, I've heard like if you want to go, it, there was something if you want to go far, go together or something. But there's also if you like if you go fast, like you you go slow with with people, right? If you go slow with people, then you can go fast. And we've done that. And you're so you're talking about caring about people, right? Like right. each when you, when you interact with someone, you care about them, and it's not right. trying to make a sale; it's trying to serve them the best. Right. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we're we're gonna have so much fun is when we hmm. like in our inner circle mastermind with. Uh, starting with Linda and Pete, hmm. the the joy is going to be immense. Okay, <laughs> I know yeah. it. You know? <laughs> and then from that celebration, the ideas go. Oh, you know, who would we also want in this group? Hmm. You know, take us to this level, to that level. You know. Oh yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll bring Joy Peterson to to us. Yeah. yeah. You know. And um, everybody that was on yesterday. What a phenomenal group. Mm -hmm. that, that was one of the best best minds I've ever participated in. And you wow. ran that, you know, you. your ability to to be the hub in things. I mean, really like um, if you notice nobody, every everybody was on track. Right. Yeah. No one did it with some ulterior motive or whatever. It's all, all the energy was aligned for sure. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and your gift, see your powerful gift is the ability to bring that presence that you have into a meeting like that. And, and all of a sudden everybody gets that. Everybody was in alignment with your leadership. Nobody stepped out of it. Did you notice that? And you didn't have like, okay, we're going to have a bunch of rules and here's the stopwatch. You know, one time you look, okay, we went a little bit over. So what? You know, like, okay, <laughs> reform the wagons. and It didn't matter. It all yeah. worked perfect. Oh, thank you. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah. yeah I love that mastermind. And, and meeting three too was like, it was like the best we'd had so far. And then four was yesterday. I think we may have had one more person on it than the previous. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, I got to head out the door. Okay. Oh, well, and that, well, then I look forward to talking about um, mar uh, soul to soul marketing and what yeah. that is and how we can do it uh, next time. Yeah. So let's plan after Christmas, either that, you know, Wednesday or Thursday next week. Okay. We'll, let's touch base Tuesday. We'll check our schedules. Okay. Gonna... Okay. Cool. Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to put this out today. It, it takes okay. probably a while to upload. So, but yeah, it's yeah. today. This was super awesome. Thanks for now. We did a soul to soul talk. It's great how this worked out. That this is what we did today spontaneously. Oh, great. Terrific. Yeah, hey, thanks. Merry Christmas to you, your mom, and far your dad. I'm, I'm so glad that you have that wonderful connection. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank and you. That, and, and have. Have just a wonderful time. Thank you. Merry fun Christmas to, to you and your yeah, family. It's fun to catch you on Facebook where, like, oh, this is what Devin's doing today, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I usually do at least a daily video. So. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I was exploring the uh, the beauty of the beach, the paradise, uh, and I did some videos this morning. I'll put more of those up later. Oh, wow. I'm Great. also promoting the place, too, in a way. I, I can get paid for that now. I made a, a joint venture. Good with someone that, that's a broker and connects people with renting or owning the villas. Oh, good. Terrific. We do that worldwide too, but that was the first connection for that, for uh, dreamhomesandislands.com. Obviously coming soon, right? But that's, wow. that's another thing. Yeah, right. The real focus is, is heaven on earth. But the thing, the way that actually connects with it is places, a place where you'll thrive, right? I know. Like British yeah. Virgin Islands for Richard Branson, right? Like, and for me, this, this place is a place where I start to thrive. And so we want to help people find those places. Right. Yeah. Everybody wants to know where they are. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a great day. Okay. Christmas. I'll see you Terrific, soon. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful you. day.